Hello there, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog, and I'm Pete Howard, and I, um, my friends all know that I stopped collecting pretty much um, New Year's Eve 1969. I like to say I'm a 60s on back collector, so even though I went to a ton of shows in the 70s, don't collect them. This is one exception. This is, this is from February of 1970, and it's not a Grateful Dead concert poster, it's a benefit for the Grateful Dead concert poster. And it's just my favorite. Randy Tootin is one of the famous, you know, San Francisco poster artists. Came along a, a few years after the other uh, Core Five. But this is my favorite Randy Tootin concert poster design, and I think I speak for a ton of collectors and fans when I say that. It's just such a wickedly cool poster with great colors. And, uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and move in for a, a close-up. It's known as BG-222 because it's, uh, you know, the 222nd poster in Bill Graham's series. But, oh, that lettering just gets me every time. And the colors, it's just really a fantastic, fantastic concert poster. Great image. It's kind of funny. It's got all those skulls on it. But, again, it's not a dead concert poster. It's a benefit for the dead. But, you know, check out the bands that were playing. Obviously, the Jefferson Airplane, who were playing off of the Volunteers album. I consider their last great record. Um, Quicksilver Messenger Service was um, playing on the show off their highest charting album ever, Shady Grove, with no less, by the way, than Nicky Hopkins on piano. Wow. Santana on the bill, playing off their first album, their debut classic Santana album. Even It's a Beautiful Day on this bill was playing off their first album with, uh, you know, the famous Woman on a Mountaintop and, you know, White Bird on the album. Oh, what career timing for all these artists. And then finally rounding out the bill was Dan Hicks and his Hot Licks, who hailed from nearby Santa Rosa, and they were just getting their career underway. So, really, really cool lineup, really just, um, really fun. What a fun night of music this must have been, as well as the great cause for bailing out the Grateful Dead, who had been busted down, and I shouldn't sing it. You know the line from um, Truckin', busting down to New Orleans. Well, that had happened, that famous bust had happened just three weeks earlier uh, before the show. So, and it was, you know, the, the famous bus before dawn, 19 people were netted and all of the motel in the French Quarter, even Owsley Stanley was busted. So that's why the dead sort of immortalized it in song and, and this concert poster immortalizes it as well. Uh, the dead were down in New Orleans, by the way, playing two shows with Fleetwood Mac. Now, what's interesting is this poster has never been reprinted, so if you have one, you have an original at first. Um, but it did come in two versions. There's a variant on this poster. And I know I've raved so far about how gorgeous these colors are and the way the red plays off the orange and everything. But there is a before concert, you know, first printing that lacks the colors. It's known as the monochrome, monochrome or the gray version of the poster. And I have it here to show you, if you'll excuse me again, leaning off camera. And... Here it is, the same poster, but without all the skulls um, behind that central figure because they were created by the red inks. And so this is a perfectly legitimate version and it's much scarcer, much rarer. So you have that old yin and yang of collecting. Do you want the one that looks better or do you want the one that's rarer, you know, that none of your friends are going to have? Well, this is the rarer one and it's interesting across the top it says a benefit for the Grateful Dead. So they're mentioned on the poster but didn't play. And there it is, just without the spectacular colors, but a much scarcer version. What's also neat about this, I should have pointed out with the first one as well, is that Randy signed it. See that in silver ink there, Randy Tootin? Hope we get the, be able to get the glare well. And I'll show you the other signature just to be sure to end with the beautiful color one as well, which um, Randy signed in black ink right down there. He knows what colors to use and everything when signing posters, all those guys do. There we go. So, anyway... BG-222 with a Grateful Dead benefit poster featuring the airplane and Quicksilver and everybody else with just a freaking gorgeous design, and in my opinion, and everybody else's too. So it's the kind of thing that just sings on a video blog, doesn't it? <laughs> Good thing I didn't sing trucking, right? Okay, so anyway, um, thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.